just like most entrepreneurs i am an accidental entrepreneur i never went down this path i never thought i will be an entrepreneur uh, i was a an interventional cardiologist very good at my work um, saving lives every single day it was back in 2009 that i realized that i was the luckiest person on earth what people don't know is that heart disease is india's number one killer every year close to 3 million people will lose their lives due to a heart attack one of the key requirements as a founder of any company is your ability to network your ability to network will not just enable you to learn more as a founder you have your domain knowledge and you have your domain expertise but that is insufficient to run a company and the only way where you can leverage insights clues paths to success is when you meet other people understand their journeys understand their hardships um ask them for advice uh, ask them for funding advice ask them hey i have a problem how did you go about solve a similar problem that you have and and there could be multiple such conversations and every at every stage these conversations have been pivotal in in solving multiple challenges that a founder faces the the founder who thinks he knows everything is is bound to fail a founder who says I'm going to go find out what the answers to the problems I have uh, has a much higher chance of success. So I would definitely say that networking uh, is a skill that you must learn and practice um, in order to to be able to succeed. When you are able to translate an idea into a business plan. and and that jump is one of the most important jumps that you are going to make you may have the best idea in the world but if that does not translate into a viable business you you are setting yourself up to failure so your ability to to translate your idea into a business plan and then into an excel spreadsheet where somebody external can look into and say here are the key assumptions in my business plan and this is why you are able to scale this this is where the problems are these are the requirements in terms of funding manpower is one of the most important skills that a founder can have when you go out to raise a round of funding people will of course invest in you for multiple reasons but at the seed stage they the most important criteria for them to invest in you is is not that you have a business that is running or a or a great spreadsheet that shows that you're going to be a billion dollars but from the fact that are you good enough to succeed as a founding team and meeting these right investors who will invest in you and invest in your passion will make one of the biggest differences in in your uh, in your life when uh, when we were starting our initial fundraise back in 2014 and and, and that's that's a long, pretty long time ago um, the number of healthcare companies that were being funded were very small and and we and i had to pick 19 times and and we rejected 19 times before we had the first year so what i remember very clearly about my pitch that every time somebody said no to us zenol and i would sit down and and debug the pitch and see where did we go wrong venture capitalists are some of the smartest people that there are Uh, at times they will tell you very clearly hey this idea is great but these are the things that are going wrong in all likelihood they may not tell you but it is up to you to figure that one out uh, where you lost them and with each of these pitches that i gave 
it was a learning experience we got better at pitching with with each of the encounters with each time somebody said no to us i remember very clearly one of them uh, and, and these were not just my my close friends who who decided to pitch in and and help with setting up the business plan setting up the business model these were these were skills that i did not have these were skills that i did not know prior to that. Uh, and the ability to take your idea break that down into individual problems um, and able to translate that into a financial model was something that i learned because of the mentorship that that i received from from the right people so these are skills that if you are able to learn earlier on will definitely give you an edge uh, compared to the other people and and you will avoid some of the mistakes that most other founders make the second is your ability to uh, to formulate the the plan hire the right people again it was thanks to guidance and mentorship from from multiple people who volunteered their time to help two founders succeed that we were able to achieve early success and scale very quickly the multi racial multi religious uh, vibrant culture where there are people who have come from around india and have and have gravitated towards the city and when you have a culture such as that uh, it is unsurprising that startups will flourish you, you have you have people who are here who are who have come from their their places where their families are to so that they will get a new life and of course it started off with the whole it industry but uh, but the fact that these people who have come not just who are all bangaloreans today um, have come together with an it background and willing to explore the next step and that kind of talent pool when it exists you will meet other people you will network with other people that you will want to start a company with uh, you will meet over coffee and and uh, with an investor who will who will invest in. so i i think you're just seeing the beginning of our bangalore um, and and only far more to come in, in terms of growth and startup activity